Are you ready for this? Wow! Welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs. Today, I'm so excited to show you this gorgeous house behind me. This is the Oxford by Miller Homes, and we are at Southquest Rise, which is a development in Kenilworth, again, by the developer Miller Homes. So what are we here to look at? We're looking at this gorgeous brick-faced, rendered, uh, double-gabled home, and it's a detached property with a garage, five bedroom, three bathroom property. It's approximate size in terms of the square footage and pricing at this moment is going to pop up if we have that information just there. And yeah, so let's get straight into the tour. Right, what are we looking at? So you're stood in the front garden. In your front garden, you have lush planting, shrubs, whatever you want it to be. We've got paving around the front, but guys, let's get straight to it. We've got this really impressive double gabled facade it's so imposing it's very striking as well it's got this contemporary flat roof on both of them and then we've got the traditional details at the top don't want to get into much architectural language i don't want to bore you but that little stepped brick detail at the edge is the cobbling detail and then they've just gone around the windows and doors to kind of add that um, to accentuate the openings and then we've got our door our front door right in the middle so let's look at the door so we've got a porch canopy here and then we've got our feature black door in the middle and two glazed panels either side contemporary light lighting either side and yeah let's get inside of the house shall we okay so imagine welcoming somebody in you'd say come inside welcome welcome to my home yes so let's do first impressions so what are we looking at? We're looking at a very spacious entryway, hallway, foyer, whatever you want to call it. It is really, really impressive. Great size, great size. You know, it's not a corridor, guys. It is a proper hallway. We've got doors left and right, as you'd expect, and then a feature staircase right in front of me. A little nook in front as well, where you can put like a bit of a bench as they've done. So uh, radiators as well, should I mention, throughout the property, security panel. We've got on this property, chrome face plates to all the light switches. And then again, you can really appreciate how much light is coming through the panels either side of the front door. Shall we go that way or that way? Let's go this way. So room number one on the ground floor. So it benefits from that gable window, as you can see. Box window with beautiful kind of, it's a bit beautiful focal point, bringing in lots of light. And then you've got a rectangular footprint to the front room. You can see they've put the focal point over here, the official focal point. And the staging, I'm trying not to get sucked in, but I will make a mention. Whenever you can see the double lighting, and you can see just large scale furniture. You know the room is a really good size. So this coffee table is a really nice size. The armchairs, even though they're divided into two, they're not little squashed armchairs. They're quite sizable. And then you've got these oversized lamps. It's a really, really good size is what I'm trying to say. And I love these uh, chandeliers as well. It's absolutely gorgeous. So let's go back into the hallway. So now that we're back in the hallway, I did forget to mention earlier, I always do this, guys. I always talk about the flooring. Now, in this show home, we've got ceramic tiles. Yes, I know they look like wood, but they're actually wood effect. So it's even more durable than if it was wood and there's no squeakiness whatsoever. Very easy to clean as well. And it's going to remain like this for a very, very long time. You've got that kind of inlaid matting as well right by the front door. So again, if I'm wearing outdoor shoes, I can kind of just dust off my shoes and there's no residuals, residual dust coming into the rest of the flooring let's go into room number two so this is kind of like a study but i think it could be whatever you want home office cinema room they've got a tv on that wall and gorgeous paneling as you can see and then it has that second bay window that we saw from the front of the property so from here you're going to have amazing views of the front of your garden you could just see what's happening see 
watch life as it kind of goes by and um, yeah so again like I said this could be a playroom maybe a formal dining room um, if you wanted to move it over here it's completely what you want it to be before we leave this room can I just talk about the eyemongery and the doors so eyemongery is all this stuff it's like all the hardware the handles and hinges so we've got chrome um handles here and then we've got white hinges actually and they've been done in a way where they're kind of they're really not visible it's very minimal and then you've obviously got this kind of satin i think it's a satin sheen so it's not too shiny satin white kind of paneled effect on the doors throughout this property architraves and skirting boards i don't know if you can get it from there but they're pretty simple aren't they they're square edge and they kind of flow into the skirting boards and it's really nice and contemporary so now that we're back in the hallway you can see the hallway from this angle again you can see here we've got spotlights throughout so it's very very like va va voom you know like wow very impressive but again the lighting arrangement is whatever you want it to be the room that i want to show you is over here this is downstairs toilet so it's a two-piece suite we've got a toilet here radiator there and then we've got um a sink by ideal standard and a splashback things like this is completely customizable if you wanted this room completely tiled you just speak to the developer and agree to pay the additional top-up fee and then let me show you what's in here this is a nice space to put a cloak shoe store whatever you want it to be but it's a nice store away vacuum cleaner coats that kind of thing and then guys come 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 this way this is what you've all been waiting for this is the heart of this home this is the heart of the home spotlights pendants and then a feature roof light arrangement over there i absolutely love it i hope the camera is really capturing all of this in because it is not only stunning architecturally it's beautifully staged as well there is an obvious blue theme going in here but it's not overkill we've got different shades but again we're looking at the furniture arrangements to see can i live here do i like this arrangement and do i like um the proportions of things in here do i have do i need four seats or do i need a larger table you know that's what we're looking at right now so starting with this area you've got a radiator over here it's good to know where the radiators are because that helps with furniture placement as well so it means that when you're in the dining nook of this room you're not going to have cold spots in this space and i really like this pendant here as well so that's lovely so this is a four seater but again it's a circular table if you were to swap this out for a rectangular table it would come out maybe a bit more we could definitely do six seater moving over to the kitchen now so what are we looking at we are looking at a genuine kitchen island gorgeous worktop it is stunning beveled edge very durable material i think this might be south stone but don't quote me all the specifications will be specific to the development you look at and might be different uh, depending on what well development you go to storage storage you've got your cutlery space over here you've got electric hob over here it's not gas and it's by aeg induction and then you've got an extract fan over here which is great because it thinks about it thinks about the house doesn't think it they've thought about how this space is going to be used in a practical sense so obviously this is the cooking area so you've got your extract above there opposite that we've got storage over here let me just show you really quickly and don't you just love the two-tone effect they've gone with it's blue on the outside but wooden veneer on the inside i love that and of course it's on soft closers we've got a double oven here by aeg gray and it's a good height as well so there's not that kind of like bending down to get the turkey out of the oven and um oh that's really cool as well guys that's really cool that would be really interesting to zoom into that's a, a nice little touch with the lighting there and then the fridge is here fridge freezer arrangement and a 70 30 so so aesthetically pleasing over this side actually yeah let me go around this side and come that way and i'll go around again we've got more storage over there a wine fridge over here temperature temperature controlled wow so quiet as well we've got wall mounted storage over here more lights recessed underneath the, the wall mounted units and then that cr gorgeous chrome faceplate 
to the light switches as well. That worktop here, beautifully cut into to create a one and a half ball. And we've got this beautiful tap as well, this gorgeous chrome mixer tap. Again, I love this detail where you see the upstand is of the same material as the worktop. And then you've got a window right in front of your sink. Amazing. And then the grooves of the strainer of the sink are actually cut into the worktop. So it's all minimal. Um, and then more storage here. And then let me just find the dishwasher for you. Dishwasher Zanussi, great. And then more storage guys. Storage all the way under there. Ample storage above, below. And then bonus room is our utility room. Yes, there is a utility slash laundry room. It has an extract fan as well. How many laundry rooms have you toured that have extract fans, guys? Just keep that in mind. It's great to keep the air fresh in here. Um, you've got your boiler here as well. This is a back seat boiler. And then you've got your non-integrated appliances, storage, and then your worktop space with a sink. Going back to the kitchen. Guys, 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 this is amazing. This is your snug slash living area. Very cool positioning. You've got your kitchen and it flows straight into this space. Great entertaining, entertaining, for, great for entertaining. And then you've got that relationship between this space and the garden absolutely stunning so maybe come here a second if we have the garden tour footage we're going to put it right here so let's go into the back garden this way so here we are this is obviously a show home but you can see you get a nice sizable garden next to your garage and the fact that you have a garage means that you're going to have a garden all the way at least to the end of it you've got your paving slabs here so this comes with a show home and then you've got lawn turf whatever you want to call it at the back and then you can see the back of your property from here as well um, so you can see how that kind of ground floor entertainment space kind of comes out the roof lights above and the windows above it and yeah that's pretty much your garden tour this is pretty cool this is your roof light feature and this is what makes oxford kind of like a entertainment kind of wow home and just in case you thought that was it come with me i saved kind of the best for last really. Welcome to your formal dining room. Be my guest. Wow, cool. So isn't that cool just to kind of like open these doors up and really, really create a dramatic entrance for your guests. You've got, I mean, an eight seater table here. Definitely could easily fit a bigger table, a wider table if you wanted. Love the pendant lighting they've gone with in the staging. And then again, from this formal dining, we've actually got access to the back garden as well. So it flows and it opens all the spaces together. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the staging of this. And again, if you're having a private dinner, you just basically do this and close it back up. Nice. So yeah, let's go to the rest of the house and I'll show you upstairs. Now we're on the landing. You can see it's a U-shaped landing and it's very spacious actually. You know, sometimes I'm used to those kind of pokey landings, not at all in this case. You've actually got views of the ground floor from here. You can almost see the front door and it's so striking. I absolutely love this kind of design. And let's start with room number one. So you're gonna to have to come with me. It's actually gonna be this room over here. So you can see the beautiful artwork. Room number one is over here. So this is our first, first double bedroom. It's facing the front of the property. It's got a large window. As you can see, it fits a nicely sized bed and two bed sides either side. Great um, proportions. And then there's no wardrobe shown in here. However, where they put the dresser, that's where you'd put the wardrobe. Where this wall goes back, that's where you put the wardrobe. And it would definitely not eat in into the space of the room too much if you did that arrangement. Let's go to the next room, which is over this side this is the family bathroom so in the family bathroom it is a four-piece suite and i'm so excited about this room guys a separate shower i love that yes and it's got a rain head device above it and then we've got a large bathtub 
yes, in its own zone, sink and a toilet. And you've got like this shelving that goes all the way across the whole room. And you've got a window here as well, bringing in lots of light. I absolutely love the proportions of this bathroom. And I love the fact you get a, both a separate shower and a bathtub. There is a chrome towel rail behind the door as well, which is great. That might be an additional cost, but it's worth checking with Miller Homes exactly what is included. And you can upgrade, obviously, the tiling if you wanted to. Room number two is over here. Again, similar to the other room that we had, except this time you've got the window face in the back and you've gone en suite. Yes. So as I'm going to bring you around, and I'll talk about the bedroom after I've come out of the en suite. The en suite's over here. This time we're looking at a three piece suite. So we've got a sink over here, a toilet over here. They've put a radiator over here and then you've got a large shower just around the door there. And you can, I'm just going to open the door for you. You can just see that's a really nice shower. Like that ought to have that all to yourself. That's incredible. I love that. So that's the ensuite. And again, going back into the bedroom, this is a great size, large bed in here, bedsides either side, and then your wardrobe right at the end, which I'm going to show you. It's over here. And isn't this gorgeous? This is absolutely gorgeous. Sliding door. Again, this is something that you'd have to pay extra for. But again, you can see that it's been thought of. It fits perfectly on the plan of this room and you still have so much space at the foot of the bed. So let's go to the next room, which is over here. You can just see the hallway from here. It's really, really good. You can see, but don't look at the other rooms, just look at this one. Now this one, similar to the previous room, yet another great size. In fact, this one might be slightly bigger. You've got a large bed again, bedside tables, and you can see, you can definitely even increase the size of the bedsides because there's a space either side of the these kind of cute dressers there. You've got a window facing the back. It opens as well, letting in lots of fresh air. And then you've got your wardrobes here. Again, you could take this across the whole of the back wall if you wanted to, but they've just showed this as an example that a double wardrobe in the double bedroom fits perfectly. Next room is going to be here. Sorry to kind of disappoint you guys. This is not another bedroom. This is your star cupboard. This is the, well, the hot water cylinder and some people put shelving, you can do that, but this is what powers all the showers across the whole home and it's a really nifty machine. So next room is gonna be here. We're just gonna jump over here and this is a single bedroom, beautifully staged. You know, I always get ideas when I visit these properties of what to do. Don't you just love how the, the mural goes all the way to the ceiling? In fact, I think this might be hand painted absolutely gorgeous again what we're looking at we're looking at a nicely sized single bedroom easily could grow into a double bedroom if you needed to you just push the bed against the wall and have a the dresser over here wardrobes over here easily fits so and then you've got a window face in the front of the property so in terms of proportion this is fantastic if you wanted maybe this could be your home office or a little playroom or nursery it's completely up to you what you want to do with that space but guys now let me show you what is the most exciting bedroom in this entire floor this is this bedroom so come into the primary bedroom suite why am i calling it a suite you'll see in a second so not only is there a king size bed three with three <laughs> wow look how many pillows are on there there's actually six sets of window uh, six pillows on this bed this is a super king bed with an oversized headboard large dresses either side and then space at the end of the bed, dresser, dresser, credenza, maybe, whatever you want to call that. And then this is the dresser. You can have a wardrobe here if you wanted, or TV against the wall. If you have a TV watcher, I see a thermostat on the wall. So it looks like you can control the temperature of this room from here. And then you've got the window facing the front of the property. This is the window underneath the gable. And of course, it's going to be that window that's going to be the primary suite. Now, why do I call it a suite? So you've got dual aspect, window over there, window over there, side and front, two views, two aspects. You've got a whole wall of walk-in wardrobes, sliding doors either side, full height all the way to the top. Again, this will probably be a, 
an upgrade but again the walls and the space allow you to have that and that's incredible and then you've got right at the end your ensuite and this ensuite is a three-piece suite so if i welcome you in you've got your chrome towel rail over there you've got your sink your toilet by ideal standard and behind me is a shower as well i'm going to show you and just full height tiling all the way to the top and then you've got your rain head feature great for kind of creating that kind of waterfall kind of rain experience window as well bringing in lots of light and uh, it's frosted for privacy and guys beautifully beautifully um, tiled and beautifully staged decorated and the proportions are great for your own private ensuite that is a fantastic size and that guys i think concludes the tour thank you so much for coming along with us to tour the oxford it's been great having you here if you saw something we didn't point out we missed leave it in the comments below but subscribe so you get notified in the next video when it pops up and then click one of these videos will pop up so you can see another Miller Homes tour right now. Bye.